if you guys saw my earlier TikToks, tonight's been a rough night, but like what just happened was the icing on the cake. Um, I was sitting in my living room studying, like just chilling. My front door is right there, so I can hear everything that's said like outside of my apartment. And all these girls, like probably eight of them, walked past my apartment and stopped talking about me. Really, really mean stuff. And then they kick over my trash can because I live here. And then I open the door and they run away. So, can't wait to look at security cameras tomorrow. But don't say stuff because people might actually be able to hear you. And don't do things just to be mean and petty and hurt people's feelings. So about last night, these girls who were kind of bullying me, harassing me, throwing my trash around outside my own apartment, specifically because I live there. Girls who I have never met before. I found out they're all in the same sorority, which this behavior should not be condoned. And I actually have other people in that sorority helping me find out who did this. It is 2021, ladies. You are a direct image of your own sorority. So let's not bully people that have no idea who you are. We are supposed to lift each other up. You are in a sorority for a reason. To create a sisterhood, not to bring other people down that have no clue who you are. And I understand you might be a little insecure about yourself, but please don't project this upon me. And I know you're probably watching this right now, so hi, it's nice to finally meet you. But let's not do this again, because that is not cool, but I can't wait to find out who you are. Tabitha did say something to me. She said that they can't talk about themselves because no one listens. They have to talk about other people that people listen about. So just think about that for a moment. And thank you for letting me live rent free in your head. All the security footage, I'm not releasing it because I don't want these girls to be bullied because that's what I'm trying to stop. But it is the fact that I don't feel safe in my own apartment now freaking sucks. You tried doing that just because you thought I wasn't home. So you thought it was okay to kick my trash at my door, say all this stuff about me, point out where I live. I want privacy. I don't know you. So please stop targeting me, harassing me. I literally, again, don't know you. Just because you were all in the same sorority does not make it okay to gang up on one person who literally can't even defend themselves. We don't condone bullying. We are supposed to build each other up, not break each other down. And because one of you guys is the roommate of a person seeing my ex, stop. I have kept my mouth closed for way too much and I will not be walked over or harassed or bullied and literally not feeling safe in my own apartment. Please leave me alone. First off, I want to say I didn't even do anything. I wasn't even here. Yeah, I was somehow still brought up and dragged into this drama. And now my comments and my DMs are filled with absolutely horrible things. And now my roommate's dealing with the same things and she doesn't know how to handle that. She's been crying all day. I made her turn off her comments, go private, and just get off her phone for a little bit. This was not targeted at anyone. This was not a direct attack by any means. And I'm sorry that it was interpreted that way. It was nobody's intentions to hurt anyone's feelings. Some of my friends tried to reach out and just clear things up, but they got no response. My roommate and some of her sorority friends were just being dumb and going down the hallway kicking trash cans. I will admit they probably shouldn't have been doing that. And then they kicked over somebody's empty trash can and then pointed out that that was their room. There were no mean or petty comments. There was no shit talking. There was no harassment or bullying. And now their whole sorority is being threatened. And it makes me so sad that people are so eager to send hate after only hearing one side of a very exaggerated story.